Oh, hell nah. I don't have time for an introduction to this video because I need answers and I need answers quick. Throw this tweet right here from Ian Rappaport saying source former Bears running back Mike Davis was claimed on waivers and awarded to the hashtag Panthers. Why? Who? What? Why? Who? Why? Two biggest questions. And I got to ask them four times each because it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense in the least bit. Why does this team that is seventh in the league in rushing need a fourth running back? This team cut Greg Dortch, who I'll admit I had high hopes for and thought he could be a really good punt returner, kick returner for us. Apparently, every single player we've tried out at kick return and punt return is garbage. We had DJ Moore fielding punts and kicks, and I said early in this year, before this year started, I said, look, we can have a punt return on the team, but you can still have someone like Curtis Samuel or DJ Moore out there returning these punts and kicks. It would kind of be bad because you don't want these guys to get injured on these uh, on these returns, but I would rather not have that. Let's be honest. We cut the only good punt and kick returner we had on the squad and Terry Gotwin. I have no idea why that happened, but it looks like you really can't trust anyone but DJ out there. I mean, I don't really know. Maybe Dante can do it. It's really bad. So I don't have much of a, I don't really care about Greg Dort being cut. Literally cut Brandon Zilstra, cut whoever you need to. It doesn't matter to me. But this signing right here of Mike Davis, the seventh best team in rush yards per game, signed a running back that was cut from the team that has the fifth worst yards per game, they don't get 100 yards a game. I think the Bears, they get, I think, 75 or 80 yards a game on the ground, and they cut this guy. Mike Davis, look at his stats right here, is garbage. I mean, I can show you his stats from, from the last four or five years been in the league. Been in the league since 2015. He's had one good year, one good season with the, uh, with the Seahawks, 500 yards, four touchdowns. That's all right. I can respect that kind of. I think Chris Carson was on the squad then that year as well. But he got 112 rush attempts, so I assume he had a pretty big chunk of the uh, of, of the touches there. But other than that, he hasn't had a really great career. And I can show you the stats from just this year alone. Game one versus the Green Bay Packers, five rushes for 19 yards. Game two versus the Denver Broncos, three rushes for one yard. Game three versus the Washington Redskins, one rush for two yards. Didn't get anything in week five. Didn't do anything in week six, week seven, week eight against the Chargers. This man had two rushes for three yards. Week nine versus the Eagles. This man did not play. No, he had three snaps on special teams. So he did get in the game, but he didn't do anything else. So you're telling me that a team with Christian McCaffrey, Reggie Bonifant, and Jordan Scarlett needs a fourth running back on the roster? In what world does that make sense? Why even cut, <laughs> why cut Cameron Artis Payne? You see all the problems with this Panthers team. You can't stop the run. With James Bradbury out, we don't know how long he's going to be out. Maybe he'll only be out for just this past game against the Packers. He'll be right back. But the, the secondary ain't looking so hot. The old line could use some help in some places. And when I say some places, I mean a couple places. But you're telling me the fix that the Panthers thought was appropriate was picking up a garbage running back who used to play at South Carolina? What's the point? Why even bring this man Mike Davis in when you don't even play Reggie Bonifant and you've never even looked at Jordan Scarlett? The guy you actually drafted in the fifth round, another fifth round pick we don't give snaps to. It's another fifth round pick that cannot get on the field. I have no idea what's going on now. Marty Herney's had a really good two years, even before the draft. I mean, doing things with the, in the offseason pickup free agents, the draft, getting, uh, getting, getting, uh, Eric Reed during the actual season this past year, this past offseason. I thought he did some really good work for free agency. And I thought that in the draft, this man, Marty Herney, made some really good moves. But I have no idea what Mike Davis is doing on the Carolina Panthers and what the Panthers are doing Looking for this guy, and I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm appalled. I'm appalled. A guy who was garbage for a garbage running team gets picked up by one of the best running teams in the NFL. A team that has the best running back in the NFL. 
a team that has two other backup running backs who can barely touch the field and you sign a running back, you Mike Davis has to be the best pass blocking running back in the entire National Football League for this move to even make the smallest bit of sense. I don't have any idea what's going on here. I need answers. Mike Davis? I saw a notification on my phone from what the Panthers said. The Panthers had it on the, on, the, on the app. It said, Panthers signed former Gamecocks running back. What? This man has not been in college since 2014. I do not care what school he went to. How has he been since he's been in the league for the past five years? And I'll tell you the answer to that question. Pretty garbage. One decent year. Four pretty trash years. Now, if you're a USC fan, not the good USC, the other USC fan, don't let this signing get you, don't, 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 don't let the team finesse you, bro. Do not let the team finesse your, 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 your fandom of that college team to make you believe that this is a good signing. Yes. In his last two years at USC, I think he had 1,100 yards and 900 yards on the ground. But what has he done in the NFL? And what? What can he do for this Panthers team that Christian McCaffrey, Jordan Scarlett, and Reggie Bonifant can't? One of the most trash teams in the league cut this man. And they need all the help they can get running the ball. David Montgomery, their starter, was garbage this past week. David Montgomery was garbage. They need running back help. And we were picking up Mike Davis. For what, man? For I, I, I have no idea. I wish I had some kind of analysis for you for this one. There's no reason you sign another running back, a fourth running back on your roster, when there are problems on the O-line, the defense, the secondary, and in punt and kick returns. This man... I don't know what to say. I have nothing else to say about this. What what is this team doing, bro? What is this? We got beat by thirty eight by the by the, by the by the Niners, and then we get smacked in the goal line by the Packers and the refs in that game, and we just forget how to act. Everyone is in shambles. We have no idea what to do. We see coaches thinking maybe I'm gonna lose my job. I think Marty Herney's safe, but Marty might be feeling a little pressure from uh from David Tepper. I have no idea. What this signing is about. Why does any team need four running backs? But a bigger question is, why does this team need four running backs? We only use one. What are we going to do with the fourth? What you going to do with a fourth running back? I really got nothing else for y'all right now, man. If y'all are more woke on this pickup than I am, please let me know. Let me know in the comments right now. Stop watching the video and type that comment out this very second because I have no idea what this franchise is doing. The decision making is, it's, it's gone. This makes no sense to me. And you say it's a small thing, but this is a dumb thing. You don't get to make small, dumb decisions just for no reason to say, hey, well, it's not a really big deal. I mean, it's not a game breaking thing, so it doesn't really matter. It's a dumb decision right here. What team needs four running backs? And if there are teams that need... Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, man. You already know that like button. Cheers to you. Appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.